Even while many businesses are closed during this pandemic, there are many essential workers still out doing their jobs every day. They include healthcare professionals, people working at supermarkets, but also professional caretakers. David Edelstein tells us how the Ark of Oneida County is still supporting its residents. We can't go without that. We can't go without our essential staff that we have. Karen Karitzer is the CEO of the Ark of Oneida County. The ARC says it provides full-time care to more than 100 residents with disabilities across 26 homes in the county. It's not an option for us to be able to work from home, from group homes, right? We have to be there uh, hands-on to be able to help the people that we support in those houses. It's like its own little entity, really. We do almost everything. Alyssa Hoyt is a residence manager at one of the homes. She says she continues to go out and work because her residents need her. A lot of the people that we support, they don't have people. They don't have families. The house that I'm in especially right now, they don't have too many in the way of families that are there for them. Hoyt says she helps her residents with finances, health, and goal setting. She says now she also helps with stress management and planning activities as her residents are quarantined in the building and social distanced from each other. They're not really used to that. They need people. They need people to, to help them through this. Karitzer says each home has technology for residents to use so they can video chat family and friends. Hoyt says her residents have been okay overall over the past three weeks. Karitzer says there's been a lot of positivity throughout the arc, even in a difficult time like this. I'm not surprised because we have incredible staff that have tremendously positive relationships um, with those that we support, and that COVID is not going to stop that. Reporting, David Edelstein, Eyewitness News. And Kortzer adds that her staff needs protective equipment like masks, just as any other healthcare workers do. So if you want more information on how you can help and donate to the ARC, visit our website, cnyhomepage.com.